Hello guys, you know when we told Bolamet Nibu and his government to sign the uh, bill of regional government that was submitted to him for, for like three months ago, he thought we were joking. Now he is seriously considering it. You know, when I told you guys as a matter of fact that there is nothing that you can do in this country other than to return us back to regional government, now Tinibu, because of the protest and how the Northerners, you know, you know, uh, turned their back against him. Like I said, let me even analyze what happened. You know, prior to this particular protest, Bolamet like Tinibu and his government, you know, because he employed his, his so-called government is, is filled with bigots like Bayo Onanoga, Reno Mokri and Co. We are deceiving him that this is an Igbo agenda and all that. And we are thinking that they can use that Igbo agenda of a thing to deceive the Northerners and prevent them from voting, uh, from uh, protesting because that is the only way this particular president and, and APC knows how to do. They will try to, you know, incite or probably tell these people that it is an Igbo agenda. You, you saw a lot of videos flying here and there, APC people there and there, they see some Yoruba Rony people, they are saying it is an Igbo agenda, forgetting that the Northerners, as a matter of fact, are never comfortable whenever they are not in power. Remember, we understand that there is hunger in the land. We understand that that, that, that protest is quite necessary, but I've often said it, that in this country, we can never be united unless, as a matter of fact, you know, we return back to the regional government. Now, the Tinibu government bought the idea that it was an Igbo agenda. They started, you know, trying to, you know, incite the North. They, they, they started, you know, saying all sorts of things. Now, when the protest started, the Igbos, you know, left them. There was no single place in the southeastern region that the, this particular protest happened. Now, it was not the Northerners that, you know, took it upon them or upon themselves. These are the same Northerners that, that refused to uh, carry out this kind of protest when Buari was in Teno. For eight good years, that Buari destroyed our economy. Remember, nobody is supporting Parliament in Tenebo. Parliament in Tenebo, you know, uh, has destroyed the economy. But I want to point out some sentiments and some uh, hypocrisy of some people. These same Northerners did not protest against Buari. They did not carry out this kind of level of protest against Buari. Now, Balame Tinibu is shocked that the not that he thought that he can easily, or probably his government can easily deceive and are now protesting against him. Some of the, there was nothing they did not say against Balame Tinibu. You could see children and everybody protesting. Fapa Hunde, Akim Fapa Hunde, a Yoruba man submitted this particular bill, despite the fact that the bill needs to be, you know, adjusted because uh, the bill and nest some part of uh, Igbo land to some other areas and all that. Balame Tinibu, you know, did not even assent to this bill. Now, it is not glaring obvious. I'm going to play a lot of videos for you to see that this, the only solution we have in this country is regional government. It's regional government. So regions can go. Because there was, they tried all possible ways to pin it down on the Igbos because they know that when, when they raise all, up all these sentiments that it is an Igbo agenda, that the Northerners, you know, probably, even to the extent that some of them said that, that this particular protest was a protest to release Mazinam de Kalo and all that. It, they did all these things to rile up the North, to make, to make sure that the North does not participate in this protest. And this is the problem of this gov government. There is truly, sincerely hunger in the land. And instead of you to address this problem, knowing full well that the North will definitely protest against you, truly, truly, there is hunger. And now you are giving them an opportunity for them to protest against you that is a Southerner. You think they will not protest. You think the problem is when you say it's an Igbo agenda and all, and all that. You come and deceive them. That is why I said, let us return back to regional government. Let us return back to regional government. It is not working. It is not working. The Igbos refuse to protest because they know that if they had they been they stepped out to, that, to, 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 to carry out this particular protest, everything would be blamed on them. And they said, no, we are not going to protest. That even before the protest, they started blaming us. We are not going out again. They just left them. And this is a, a sign that people want to go back to their region. The Northerners are protesting heavily against this hunger because their person is not in power. There was hunger in Buari's time. But they are still hunger now, but they have to come out and protest because they know that it is not their person that is in power. Let us return back to regions. Some Yoruba Yoruba people said they are not going to protest. You saw some people in Lagos State trying to you know, intimidate people that came out to protest peacefully. They said Oro, they did this. You could see that this, these are ideas that these people want to be on their own. The regions want to be on their own. And this is simple as ABCD. Yes, I I know some Yoruba protested or, or participated in this protest against Balame and Tiniba and against this hunger. But you could see that some uh, some other Yorubas, you know, said we are not participating in this protest. They started threatening people and all up and down. And these are ideas that this country cannot, as a matter of fact, be united in one voice. They cannot be united in one voice because these ethnic and religious sentiments are with us. So we must devise means, as a matter of fact, to live with them. Well, let me play some of the videos from the protest that is actually happening today. When we come back, we speak more on this regional government and some other things and some other videos about what uh, 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 they said about the Igbos and co. When we come back, we'll try to dissect and analyze every other thing. Be Igbo in Nigeria, to be Igbo is not easy. The Igbos are so marginalized. Uh -uh. 
when they vote they will say go back inside you can't vote go and vote there go and vote there when they even win sometimes they collect the ticket from them when they want to come out for protest, they will say Oro Day, if Oro no day, they will say no, Ibo must go. What kind of life is that? And we claim to be in one country, one nation together, Nigeria. Is Nigeria one nation? You to think about it. Ibos are extremely marginalized. And they are not a uh, the poorest in the society in fact they are one of the richest in nigeria if not the richest they are employer of labor they had value election they will chase them or uh, uh, protest they will say go and protest in your village in their village they will say they want to go they form their own biafra airport they say you can't go what a country now from the videos you just watched now look at what happened you can see what afayo say uh, said uh, isaac fayo say said that Igbos is is it, is it a crime to be an Igbo person the Igbos have have been blamed in all ramifications in this protest now some northern leaders are deceiving the northerners and telling them do not protest that it is an evil agenda they are hiding under the sentiments of ethnicity and religion to deceive them people are hungry and are telling them not to protest like i've often said despite the fact that i don't support this protest because since it's a protest against hunger but let me think i've not said anything rather they will, will just reduce the price of things but has it solved the problem after two months three months they will return back to their looting they did remove any person from any political position no we need a, 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 a restructuring and a, a revolutionary change that will make sure that Criminals, politici uh, criminal politicians are not allowed to have position. Look at the Senate president mocking and yabbing people up and down, making careless statements. But when you return to regions, people will hold themselves accountable. They say the same way the Northerners are protesting. They will know that there is no other person to blame. There is no other person to blame uh, uh, just for themselves. They must actually hold themselves accountable. When you go to the uh, Western region, the same thing happens. The Yoruba only bigots and the Yoruba only people will not, will not know that they don't ha have any other person to blame. Imagine there is hunger in the land. They don't care about the hunger in the land. They, they, they are more interested in the fact that they want to protect their, their, their person, being a Yoruba person, being Balatini, but that is, that is the president. That is their major concern. They are not concerned about if people are dying of hunger and all that. And that is the truth. And the boys said, no, we are not going to join this protest because we don't want to be victims. At the end of the day, you, you guys are going to blame us. They said, no. And this boys down to people want to go their different regions. The South Satanas are participating in this protest too. They, and they are hungry. People want to go back to their regions. There's nothing they've not done to find a way. They, some, some not a politicians, some not criminal politicians have been looking for a way. To blame the Igbos for the protests that happened in the northern part of the country. You know, it was violent, which we condemned. Some of them were violent and they started looting. Some talks started, started looking, looting a lot of properties, which we totally condemned in strong words. But these politicians now turned back and started blaming. St st the, the, these northern, some northern politicians started you know, indirectly blaming the Igbos, saying, telling their people that the Igbos you know, deceived them, incited them to go and destroy their own, own homeland, and you know, they did not protest in their own area. You can see that these criminal politicians always have a way to hide under religion and ethnicity. They will not address the hunger in their area. No. What they are looking for is to, to find a way to, you know, make sure that the Igbos are being blamed for the protest that happened in the north, which majority are the northerners. You can see that from the videos that just played, majority are the northerners. But they will find a way. That is why I said, fine and good. Since this is what happens in the country, we can no longer lie about, lie about it. We can no longer lie about it that these our politicians are, are, are thriving in or uh, hiding and thriving in uh, under a religion and ethnicity to perpetrate evil and corruption. Now let us dismantle that corruption by returning back to regional government. Imagine a situation where, whereby we have regional government, the North will hold their own northern leaders accountable. If they will protest and nobody will come out and start to deceive them that the protest they are doing over there is a protest to religion and the No. Nobody in the West will come out and tell them that the protest they are doing is against the Yoruba rule. No. The Igbos will, will not sit at home to say that we are not protesting. The Igbos will come out and protest against their leaders. The South Satanas, the South Satanas will still do the same thing. This is all we ask and this is all we've been saying. But let me tell you, you know, the bill that was submitted by this uh, 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 Fapahunde, Akim Fapahunde, you know, was supposed to take effect 
on October 1st, 2024, being Democracy, uh, being Independence Day in the country. Had it been this bill was actually looked into by now, they could have, you know, started structuring out after correcting the, uh, the, the, the mistakes or probably, I don't know, uh, the errors that was made by annexing some areas and speaking areas to some uh, uh, other regions and co. By now, we could have, you know, started implementing these things. Before first, every return will return back. You will see that this ethnic tension will become those, like it will reduce drastically. It will reduce drastically. It will reduce. And the whole pressure and attention on the seat, because the, what is causing this problem is who is sitting, which tribe is sitting on the seat of the presidency. When you remove people's eye from that, from that place, probably, who, you know, remove people from that and make people to focus more on their region and have what we call full resource control.